Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the ninth lecture of the series. So in this presentation, I'm going to go through the first operation on transducer, uh, composition. Right. So let's get started. So uh, before we move on, let's uh, get get a get a grip of where we are. Um, so right now, I'm going to introduce five total a total of five uh, operations: composition, epsilon removal, determinization, weight pushing, and minimization. So we'll start with our composition first. So what's a what's what's composition? So um, I uh, let's let's try let's try to highlight this with an example. So suppose we're given two transducers, T A and T B, right? So the first transducer, it uh it takes in a sequence of letter. So this is its, its input, right? The blue input, and then its output is a series of uh, uppercase letter. So it takes in a sequence of letter, and it uh it 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 gives off a uh, uh, a set of uh, uppercase corresponding uppercase letters. Right, suppose you have a second uh, transducer TB, which takes in uppercase let uppercase letters, okay, and uh, and it produces a sequence of specific words. So a composition of TA and TB would what what would it do? Well, it would it would conv it would convert a sequence of letter, right, the blue what TA takes in, right, into a sequence of specific words, okay, what TB does, right. So basically, um, you can see. That um, this 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 is actually very close to the mathematical definition of what a what a function uh, functional composition is, right? So what happens is that the the, re the resulting transducer, right? It's it may be very hard to construct from scratch. So what you do is that you break it up into many many simpler uh, tra transducers, right? And then you com composite all of them together, and hopefully your final product is a uh, will be able to achieve what you want to want it to do right so composition actually simplifies the construction of a very complicated transducer so a more uh, formal introduction would be found in Hori's book right so it's 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 combining composition is combining two related transducer into a single transducer right that represents a set of transduction cascaded with the original two transducers so or well I had a lot of trouble on trying to understand what this meant but um if you think in terms of the example that I gave you, right, uh, TA had a specific took in some input, TB uh, gave off some output, so the the resulting transducer would take in the 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 original input by TA and uh, and and give up something uh, that TB does, right. So if I am given two uh, WFST, right, and I composite them together. I'll get something like this. Now, how did I get this? That's the main thing here. So from here on, I'll try to describe the algorithm that can be found in uh, Hori's book, right? Uh, in 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 more detail. Now, suppose we are given two transducer, right? Uh, with a sigma delta as a input output label, and then TB as delta omega. With uh, you can see that they once once output must be equal to the other's input. Then you can composite them together. Right, then you can can composite them together, and and the uh, uh, the mathematical way of writing composition would be this, right? T A composite T B would be equals to this, right? Because now now you sort of arranging them in series, and you need to multiply their weights together, right? Such that you can see such that they share one share the input and output, so input and output. So Z is the input output of T A, while Z is also the T uh, uh, input of uh, T B. Right. So now, before I move on to describe the algorithm, I'll uh, do, do a little bit of housekeeping by, by showing what notation I'll be using. So suppose uh, this, is a, this is a transducer A, transducer B, right? So transducer A, 0A, 1A. So 0A, 1A, uh, 0A actually means uh, the zeroth node of uh, transducer A. Uh, 1A would be the one st the state number one of transducer A, right? So on and so forth. So 3A is uh, is this this is this particular one. 3B will be the uh, tr uh state third state of uh, transducer B, which is the uh, this one, right? So 1B would be this. Uh, 2B would be this. 2A would be this, and so on and so forth. So um, I'm gonna write it this way. So zero, it it. This tuple represents a transition. It it so zero a one a represents this particular one. It starts at zero a, ends at one a, has an input of a, output of b, weight of zero point one. I hope you can see here. It's right here, right? Uh, same uh, so on and so forth, right? One a two a actually starts. It means this one. It means this particular transition here because it starts at one a, ends at two a with uh, with the weight of uh, 
uh, b b zero three means that it has an input of b output of b and uh, weight of zero point three right so this will be the notation I'll be using and hopefully it won't be too confusing so the first step in the first iteration we'll consider the uh, sort of the origin right zero a zero b so from zero a zero b I'll consider all transitions going out from zero a all transitions going out from uh, zero b so in this case there's one transition coming out and uh, here there's also one transition coming out so from a transducer a the, right uh, the the input output weight will be this so same for this right but notice what happens right they this output is the same as this input so what do i do well then i need to multiply their weights together and create a new path right so the new so i need to create a new path right so the 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 input for this and the output for this will be the new input output whereas the middle the, the middle person this b here and this b here will be sort of cancelled off cancelled off right and you would it will just combine to this right and the weights right remember this is a probability semi ring so what, you have, what happens if you 0 0.1 multiply by 0 0.1 uh, you, you're gonna get 0 0.01 here right and the, the node that it will go to is 1a 1b right it will be labeled as 1a 1b so now that I've checked 0a 0b right and I've created this new node. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this node into the, the QK plus 1. QK represents the node that we are in now. QK plus 1 represents the node that we will be going to. Right? So this will be the new node. Right? And then we'll, we'll the, so the next iteration will go to 1A, 1B. So 1A, 1B, right? I'll, I'll consider everything coming out from 1A, everything coming from 1B. 1A has two, uh, three transitions. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Right? Uh, well, so that's one, one B, right? You have this B A 0 0.2, this one, and uh, A B uh, 0 0.4, right? So I'll write out everything, but why do I cancel away these two? Well, reason is very simple. So you can see there's some of these, right? More, all of these end with a B, which means that the output is B. And then these two, well, the, the, the input is A, so it, it doesn't take the output from here. Whereas the first, this, this transition here, B A 0 0.2, right? takes in a input of B outputs a so what do you do well all these will be multiplied together you'll be multiplied together so you get you create three different transitions so the first transition you, you'll create is that the B will be cancelled away you let you're left with a a right 0.2 times 0.2 will be 0 0.04 and you end up at 0 a 1 B right you can see this right and then B B right, you, you the B will cancel all the second B will cancel all this. You get B A right with 0.3 times 0.2 as the weight, and that would be 0.06, and it will end up in 2 A 1 B right. You, so you can see this right, and same for this, you you will get B A 0.08, and uh, you end up in 3 A 1 B uh, uh, here right, and then all these three nodes will be thrown into the next queue right. So the third iteration right, you're gonna so uh, I I've, I'm now going to visit three, uh, zero, zero A, one B. So I'm going to consider all nodes coming out from zero A, all nodes coming out from one B. So zero A has only one node coming out, uh, one transition coming out. Sorry, sorry. There will be only one transition coming out. And then what happens is that uh, you have uh, that particular transition is this, A, B, 0 0.1, right? And, and one B has again three transitions coming out. I'm going to write all the transitions coming out. And you notice that these two uses A as inputs, and uh, that's not what you want. You want you want them to have share a output and an input. So what happens is that uh, this the B will be cancelled off, the A's will be joined together. This A will take in become an input. You output A, right? And then you have a the weight will be 0.1 times 0.2 will be 0 0.02, and you'll go back to 1A, 1B. Go back 1A. Now since I've already visited this particular node, I don't add it to the new the Q QK plus one, the new Q, right? Because I really, I've already been there. So now the next node that uh, I will go to, that I will visit, will be two A one B, right? This this particular tuple. So the fourth iteration, I'll consider everything coming out from two A, everything coming out from one B. So one B, uh, one B is this, right? Yes, again three transitions, and this two A has one transition, A B point five, A B slash zero point five, and it is this particular one here. Again, these these two transition uh, uses A as an input. No, that's not what we want. We want to consider the input that 
the, 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 the input that's the same as the output here. So again, the new the new transition would have a uh, input of A, output of A, and the weight will be 0.5 times 0.2, which is 0.1, right? 0.1, and then the 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 target node, right? It will go to the destination node. It will, it will end up in is 3A 1B. So we check. Oh, 3A 1B is already in a queue, so we don't we don't throw it in again. So what, once I'm done with this particular fourth iteration, right? I will go to 3A 1B. So the next one will be 3A 1B, and then I'll, again I'll consider everything coming out from 3A, everything coming out from 1B. So 3A has this particular node here, AA 0.6 here, right? And 1B is over here. Again, it's three, it's three uh, same transitions. Now this time I'm gonna clear this one out. Why? It's because this output is A, it's no longer B. A, so I need to find things that match. I need to find the inputs of transistor B that matches. So A, A, right, and this A. So what happens there? I've created two new transitions, right? A, B, right? 0.6 times 0.3 is 0.18, right? And the destination node will be 3A, 2B. 3A, 2B, you can see it here. And then the next transition will be, of course, uh, A, B, and then the weight is 0.24, and I've, and I'll reach this uh, new transition known as 3A, 3B. Now, 3A, 3B is the, uh, it's, it's the final, it's the final states for both the transition, transducers. So that's why I added a star here. So I'm going to throw these two into the queue, and uh, let's visit the next node will be 3A, 2B, and I realize that this is a now set Y. Things that come out from 3A is like this, comes out from 2B is BA 0.5. And I realized that the an output of this and the input of this don't match. So there's really nothing to combine here. So this is a now, this is a now composition. So we move on, we move on to the final state 3A, 3B. So 3A, 3B, again, considering everything that comes out from here, there's nothing that comes out from this 3B. Right in this uh, 3A, there's still this AA 0.6, right? But because there's no um, transition here, so this is also a now uh, composition, right? So once we are done, we are done because we have reached the end. So what happened is that we we create we have, we created this new transducer, right? Can you can check that all of the things that we, we have done is all part of this uh, this this transducer? But you can see that there's one final step is that uh, you realize that this this date note. What's a date note? A date note is um, that there's no way to reach, uh, to, to start from this node and go to the end, go to the, the, the final state. So if, if you reach this node and there's no path, right, that will go, that will lead you to the final state, it's known as a date node, right? So what do we do? We prune it away. Right? We're gonna prune the date node away. Oh, sorry, we're gonna trim the date node away as well, right? And then we will obtain the transducer that you see at the beginning and know that the, uh, the input and output label, this input label came from TA, this output label came from TB, right? And the queue, the queue will now, the, the, the states, right? The states are, are now tuples, two tuples in this case. Two tuples, the tuples will be 0, 0, 1, 1. The first one will come from the uh, first transducer. Second one will come from the second transducer, right? So this is known as a composition of, of uh, two transducers. Now, because uh, of the nature of the, uh, the, 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 the way it's composed, what happens is that uh, for, if you are using a non idempotent semi-rings, the path weights may be uh, over counted, so it may lead to incorrect results. So it's necessarily that the semi ring must be uh, idempotent, right? So epsilon transitions also create redundant paths, right? Um, so the, the solution is to, of course, uh, uh, to, to use a filter transducer, which will not be mentioned in this particular uh, presentation. But um, there are many, many ways to, compo uh, to uh, composite two transducers, and this is just one of the very basic examples that I've gone through. Hopefully, you are able to understand or get a grasp of how a transducing algorithm, a uh, 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 a composition algorithm works. All right. So these are the uh, these are the references that I've used, and you're welcome to take a look at them and uh, to get more insights. So I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you.